Hi friends, it's Sharon from Mad Paper Crush. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well today. Today we're going to make this cute little tear out notebook that has tickets in it. So I have all these tickets that I put into this little book so I can flip through here as I'm looking for things. If I find one I like, I can just tear it out so that I can use it in my journals if I want to. So before we get started, I'm gonna show you the new digital kit that I have in my shop that I'll be using to make this. And then once I give you a little preview of that, we'll go ahead and make this notebook together. So I hope that you'll join me, let's go. Okay friends, I just wanted to give you a little overview of a new kit that I have in the shop. I'm calling it That's the Ticket because it's filled with all kinds of different types of tickets and, and different things for you to cut up and use as ephemera, to use as um, collage for in your collage for your journals, or even just to put on pages or things like that. So I just wanted to walk you through the different pages to see what there is. And there's so many here, I'm not gonna tell you what they all are, but I'll point Point out some of my favorites. So um, this is a $7 seat to a grand concert and PJ Barnum there is um, signed on the bottom. So I thought that one was fun. And you can see there's a um, ticket to the U.S. Sanitary Fair, the art department. And so us artists, you know, we, we need to see those kinds of things. So I thought that one was fun. Then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, this one. And I thought there were some fun ones on here, this, um, the Railway Vancouver Street System. I thought that was a neat ticket to show there. The Joe Lewis Training Camp. I thought that one was fun. And let's see, well, there's, and there's more Sanitary Fair ones as we go, but I thought that one was neat. And the third page here, um, there's a general great central fair. I found a bunch of tickets that I thought would be fun to put in here. And I also put a whole strip of these Vernon theater tickets down here, just because I always love to have little tickets, you know, to put different places to staple on pages and that kind of thing. So that's the third page. And then the fourth page, <clears throat> excuse me, the fourth page has a bunch from the Great Central Fair, different colors, um, different things that they say in there. Um, let's see, I put some Pickwick Theater tickets down at the bottom here, just three of the, um, the same ones, but once again, I thought they were fun to have in there. And then this is a Merchant's Advertising ticket to Naylor's Theater in Ontario, though so I thought that was fun. <clears throat> And then this is, I think this is page number five. So there's a Ford's Theater ticket here. There's a press pass here for the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, which I thought was fun. And a Grand Centennial Dinner ticket. So lots of different tickets on here as well. And then this is the last um, full page. So this page also has another Ford's Theater, but it's um, in a different color. I love this Relics, Curiosity, Curiosities, and Autographs. I think that one's really fun. This one has a Wesley T, <clears throat> excuse me, offering. Um, it's not exactly a ticket, but it does say you're invited to, to a Wesley T to be given by the ladies of. So it's kind of something that a group would have handed out maybe to people they wanted to come. So I thought these were really fun. And there's six pages of um, different tickets on each page. And then I also included three pages of the tickets shrunk down. So if you like the tickets, but you want them at different sizes, there's um, three of these pages that include all six of the pages on those three pages, just in a smaller form. So you can see all of them there that we had already gone through. And then this is the third page, which um, there's two pages of tickets on each of these small pages. And then I also included just a little um, note card page. So I thought this would be fun to, you know, you could make anything you, you wanted with these. Um, I included them because I'm hoping to make a little booklet out of some of my tickets. So hopefully you'll see a video on that that we'll be taking a look at. 
but that's included in there as well. I think these would make great note cards um, or pockets in journals as well. I think they're really fun. And then the last thing I included was a full collage page of all the tickets on there. So I always like to have pages like this that can go into your journal or be, you know, torn up for collage um, or used for lots of different things. So there's that collage page of everything on there. And that is the full kit. And I will link the kit down below if you would like to check it out in my shop. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need the tickets that you're going to use um, to make the pages. I'm gonna use some of the tickets from the That's the Ticket kit in my shop. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use them all, but I'm gonna use a selection of these to put in there. And then you need a cover. So you need a cover that is um, at least as tall as your tallest ticket if you don't want anything sticking out of the bottom, but you could certainly let them stick out of the bottom if you wanted or the side. And then as wide as one of the widest tickets so that you know it's covering from edge to edge. So I'm gonna be using one of these covers from, that's also in the That's the Ticket kit to be my front cover. And then for the back cover, I'm just using, this is um, a very light piece of cardboard. You could certainly use chipboard or, you know, something a little bit heavier if you wanted to. I don't mind that this book is a little bit, you know, flimsy. It's going to be probably in my um, ephemera journal, like to, you know, just keeping it all together. So that's what I'm going to use for the back. And then I also just have a scrap piece of cardstock that I'm going to use um, to hold everything together. So you'll need something like that as well to kind of hold everything together. So then some of the tools I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my cutter to cut out my tickets. I'm going to be using some just regular white tacky glue um, to hold everything together. And, and besides, you know, a pencil that I might need to mark something um, to cut things down, that's all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention a couple things that you might need as well for this project. You're going to need some scrap cardboard. So just whatever you have around, some scrap cardboard we're going to use to hold our notepad together and a couple of binder clips. So these, I'm just going to probably be using two of them, but these will also help keep our notepad together while it's drying. So just a couple additional items I didn't want to forget to tell you. Okay, so I've cut out my stack of tickets. I have them ready to go. I've cut out the cover that I'm going to use, and now I'm going to cut down my backing. So once again, this is a fairly flimsy piece of cardboard, um, and I'm okay with that because I don't mind, you know, if it's not real sturdy. So to cut this down, I'm just going to measure the size of my cover. So the covers that um, are included in the kit are about three and a half by five. So that's what I'm gonna cut this down to. And I've put on my cardboard blade here um, because it's definitely gonna um, rough these up, I'm sure. So first thing I'm gonna do is just cut a straight line so I have something to um, measure this on so that I'm not getting it, you know. Actually, I think I need to do that twice, but let me do this side and we'll cut another straight edge here so then I can start measuring these up. So first I'm going to cut my, so I think I'm going to do my three and a half first. And you can see this blade is really getting pretty dull, but it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to cut my five inch side. So now we should have two pieces here. And for some reason these do not look, oh yeah, they are. I was going to say they didn't look the same size, but they are. So that's my front and my back, and you can put, you know, either side in, in here that you would like, okay? So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my tickets and I'm going to put them in the order that I want. And now I just wanted to mention that since I have all these different sizes of tickets, let me just move these out of the way. Um, I want to be sure that I don't have like all of them, you know, with their small sides together. I want to kind of vary it so that when we put the glue on, there will be um, plenty of coverage for our tickets. And then we, we also won't have, you know, one 
wide one and then the rest small. So what I'm saying here <laughs> is that I want to kind of vary them, put some of the small ones up here, you know, put another wide one on, put this one down here so that it'll be relatively flat, but with the tickets in all of um, the spots along the side. Now, the other thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put my widest ones, one in the front and one in the back. So this one with my cover is, I think, the widest one that I've cut out. I might have another one, like that's a little, that's going to stick out too much over here. Um, I don't, since I'm going to put my glue along this side, I don't mind if anything sticks out over here, but I think I want to keep these sides even or smaller um, with the tickets. So I can put this this way because it falls within here. But like this one, you know, it's very long and it's going to go in here and stick off the bottom, but I'm okay with that because it's still falling within the sides here. So then some of the other ones like this, let's see, maybe... Yes, so like this one, I could put this way, and even though it's, um, you know, you might think to put it this way, you can put this the long way and it fills up the entire thing. So probably one or two like this, I'm gonna put towards the front and towards the back so that those pieces um, along the covers have more coverage. And then for the rest of them, I'm going to kind of do things like this. Now that one's too wide, so I could put that like this. But I'm just going to go through and kind of, and actually I want to get some of these small ones in here. You can put them like this. Oops. Like this. Put my press pass in here so you can see they're overlapping and they're just going, and I'm, I actually am probably going to go through and make sure I have everything right side up because I'm realizing now I'm doing them some things upside down. So I kind of want them... Um, right side up, unless I'm putting them this way, and then I don't need to worry about it. Let's see, this one could go like that, which I like. So I'm just gonna go through and put these all in however I want them so that they're ready for me to glue in. So I'm gonna speed this up a little because I'm probably gonna take some time to shuffle things around, but I'll leave it on so that you can kind of see what I'm doing for our next step. Okay, so now you can see I have all of my tickets put in my, I have it on my backer here, and you can kind of see how thick it is. Um, you can see that I kind of have them spread all over the place. So when I put my top on, put my cover on, I can just kind of very easily 
or gently I should say, make sure everything is towards the bottom because that's gonna be important to be sure that we get glue on every ticket that's in our pack here. So I'm just going to make sure I kind of shuffle them all down without letting them fall out of my booklet here. So now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna be sure, cause we have to cut our topper paper and I wanna just kind of measure this so I know how wide it is. So you could do this, you know, smaller than this or larger than this, but um, you just need to measure this so you know how much to cut. So this is almost a half an inch wide, a little bit less, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that measurement and I'm going to add an inch because I want a half an inch of the paper to be on this side and a half an inch to be on this side. And um, if it's a little bit more on the back, that's okay. So um, you can put as much as you want down there. So I can see, I can already see, hmm, some of my pieces are not all the way at the bottom. So the next thing you should do is definitely try to make sure every ticket is all the way at the bottom. And you may need to kind of go through and shuffle them down a little. I saw one ticket that looked like it was back here that maybe wasn't all the way at the bottom. So I'm just kind of gonna go through a little bit with my fingers here and make sure everything is as close or as lined up as um, I can get it along the bottom here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some of these binder clips that I have and I'm just gonna put them on the side, kind of close to the top. And actually I may take some extra pieces of cardboard here. Let me see what I got and put them over top so my binder clips don't make, um, don't make marks. So I'm gonna put this here, one on the, actually I think I'm, I care more about the front. So I'm gonna put one on the front and one on the back here and put my binder clip on. And then um, I'm gonna do the other side as well, but I have to grab another piece of um, binder. So I'm just gonna leave this for now to hold it in place while we cut our front piece here. So I'm going to get my cutter back out. And what we're going to do is we have to be sure it's the width of our um, cover. So we have to make sure it's three and a half inches wide. And of course, this is um, this one's only three inches wide here, but that's okay. I'll just cut it the other way. So we want it to be three and a half inches wide. And then I'm going to do my one and a half inches, which is the half inch thickness plus one inch for the front and the back cover. So one and a half inches, and I may even do just a teeny bit more. I'm not so concerned about where exactly that is, because like I said, um, it doesn't matter if we have more on the back than on the front, and it may give us a little bit more stability. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark and fold this um, at my two, or I'm sorry, just at the front place. So I know I want half an inch of this paper to go along the front. So I'm going to mark a half an inch and fold it. Now I'm going to use my board here, but you could certainly just, you know, put this down, mark it with a pencil, mark your half inch with a pencil and fold it over. I like having um, a score mark on there. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to decide which side I want to be um, showing on the front. And since there's words on here, I'm gonna make that my front so that they're right side up. And then I'm just going to mark this at a half an inch. So um, we'll fold the other parts when we get there. I don't wanna fold them prematurely because as I said, my um, pack is not quite a half an inch and I don't wanna have um, you know, this sticking over awkwardly. So we'll finish the other fold when we're ready to um, put it down and glue it all together. But at least this is a starter. So you can see, now if I take these off, this is going to go as the front part of my little notebook here, my ticket notebook. And then we will fold this down um, along the other side once we get this together. But first, we've got to glue this together. So 
to glue, this is what we're gonna do. Let me go grab those other pieces of cardboard and I will show you what we're gonna do. Okay, I grabbed a couple of scrap pieces of cardboard and I need to grab another binder clip. So I have so two binder clips here that I'm going to use. And um, I'm once again going to make sure I have as much as I can lined up right along the bottom. And I see there's one in here that doesn't want to go down to the bottom, there he is. So I'm just going to kind of go through each page that I have and make sure they're all free and down towards the bottom. And when I do this, since I'm kind of separating them, anything that's not towards the bottom should be falling down there now. And then we can just line them up again. Okay, so I wanted to keep them because I have some off to the side, you know, some in the middle. So I kind of wanted to keep that in alignment, but I do want to be sure that all of the edges of the ticket are touching at the bottom. And you can see now that looks much better actually. So everything's down towards the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these in place and I'm gonna kind of do it like I did before. I'm gonna put my two pieces of cardboard, one on the front and one on the back so that I can put my binder clip on. But I am going to put these on below the top of my notebook because we're gonna be gluing this. So we wanna keep that open so that we can get our glue into place. So I'm just gonna do that on both sides. I'm gonna take this cardboard. And the reason I'm just using some scrap cardboard here is so that my binder clips don't make marks on the covers, um, since I don't, I don't really want that on there. Okay, so now I have them all nice and neat held in place, which is what I want so that when we glue it, everything will be nice and tight and in place. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my tacky glue and I'm gonna put it all over the top of this. And I'm gonna be pretty generous with this here. I'm not gonna worry that um, I have too much. I really wanna be sure that there is glue on every single ticket that I have in here um, and also along the top. So I'm just going to glue that down. I'm just using my finger to spread things around and make sure that that is nicely covered, okay? And now we gotta let it dry. So I'm going to rest this on here. See that actually maybe what I'll do is get another, I know I have something I can put this on. <laughs> you would think, right? Let's do that so that um, I don't want my, I don't want it touching the bottom or touching the ground in case I have some glue on the top or bottom. I don't wanna end up gluing it to my mat or something. So I'm just going to leave this right here until all of that glue dries and then we will do the next step. Okay, we're back and my glue is all dry on the top here. So I'm just going to take off my binder clips and my little pieces of cardboard there, and this should be all together nice and neat. Now we have one more step, and that's just to put our topper on. So we already made a one fold, so we know that it's going to be right on the front here. And you just wanna check and make sure that you've got it lined up so you didn't you know, cut it too small or too big. Um, too small is probably a preference. You know, you could have a little bit sticking out over here like I kind of do here. Um, but you definitely don't want it too big because then it'll you know, be sticking out along the sides. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hold this in place since I have this all glued together and that's gonna be the size of my notepad. I'm just gonna very carefully put this down here and I'm going to bend this around so that I have my second fold line. So, and then if your sides are a little bit uh, flimsy, so, you know, some of my tickets don't go all the way to the end here so that it goes in just a little bit, that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I have a basic folded line there. I'm just going to kind of um, fold this over a little bit there so that it's in place when we put our glue on. 
So, um, so there I have my back fold and you can see that's a little bit longer and that's okay. That'll just add some additional support to the back of my notepad. So the only other thing that I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to give the edge of this a little bit of distress just to, I don't know, fit in with the kind of vintage look we have going here on our covers. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to, once again, use my, I'm going to use my tacky glue again. Um, and we're just going to glue all over this and then very carefully, whoops, make sure the cap doesn't stick to your finger like it's doing for me. And then we're going to just uh, put the glue over and very carefully put it on the notepad. So I'm, I'm adding the glue all over here but before i put it on i am going to kind of smooth it out um, so that i know i have good coverage all over this paper so let me get the top back on and i always try to keep my glue upside down which is why you always see it laying down i don't stand it up a lot and now i'm just going to take my finger and spread my glue around make sure i have my edges covered real well all over here as best I can. Okay, and then I'm going to <laughs> get the glue off my fingers before I put this on and it'll end up sticking to me everywhere. So I have my front portion. I'm going to stick that on first and make sure I have the fold lined up right at the top of my notepad. And then I'm going to stick the back down as well. And so you can see I have just a little bit of a bump here because of the way the edges um, come in a little bit. But that's okay. I want to make sure the rest of it is pushed down as much as possible on both sides. And I may even just kind of massage this side down a little bit so that it doesn't come apart there. And same with this one. Let's just take the whole thing and massage it down a little and make sure we have that back, that top and back covered nicely. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, because um, once again, I want to be sure that um, this is nice and dry and I have this sticking to the front and the back as much as possible. I'm going to take um, two more of my pieces here, my cardboard pieces that I had used before, and I'm going to line them up on the front and the back, this time the top, because I want my binder clips to hold it together at the top. And then once again, we are going to, actually this one seems kind of small. Let me grab this one. And then once again, we're going to give this some time to dry and then we will be right back and it'll be all finished. All right, friends, it's time to see how this turned out. So my glue is now dry. I can take off my binder clips and I can gently pull off my cardboard pieces that I had on there. And let's take a look at our new notebook. So you can see now, I can open it up and I can flip through all of my tickets here. Look at that. And then I can pull one out if I want to, to use it for collage. Whoop, and this one already got pulled out. So this is why it's real important to be sure everything is nice and uh, glued in in that beginning stage. So this one came out, but I love it. So I can just uh, take this with me wherever I go and they are ready for me to use at any time. So friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.